Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for returning if you are a um, subscriber already. Thank you for uh, coming to see my video if you are new. That was rubbish. Anyway, um, I'm really sorry that it's Tuesday and there wasn't a video up Friday. Um, I will explain at the end of the video, but obviously because this is in and crochet and, and whatever, I'm going to get on with that first. Um, but I had a really, really busy weekend um, and then I wasn't very well yesterday and Sunday. I'll explain that at the end. Um, <clears throat> so, let's get started. I'm Denise, I'm Dear Designs, and I knit and crochet like a crazy woman. That's about it. <laughs> at the moment I'm knitting like a crazy woman. Um, I do love crochet, even though you might not see crochet in the next couple of weeks, um, there will be crochet again. Um, yeah, so that's about it. If you watched my last video, which seems like a lifetime ago, um, I just watched it to see what I actually showed because I couldn't remember. Um, I have made quite a lot. Um, so yeah, all this was ready to be done on Friday, but then I realised I had to work Friday. Um, I'm a mobile hairdresser and I was doing a friend's hair in the morning, well, my mum's friend. And when I go round there, I'm normally there the whole day. <laughs> um, just because we don't see each other that often and it's nice to have a chin wag and um, chit chat. And yeah, it's just nice um, have untold cups of tea. Um, so yeah, it was really nice. And then um, we went out Friday evening. I'll explain all that afterwards. So anyway, that's why the video weren't up on Friday. I've moved position a little bit to see if the light is any good. The window is open, so if you hear any banging, drilling, soaring, then that is my noisy neighbour downstairs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have moved my positioning a tiny little bit. I don't know whether it'll work. I tried it last time and it didn't. So anyway, 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 shut up Denise, shut up. <laughs> um, I showed you this last week, but I have blocked it. Um, that way. It has been blocked. It smells gorgeous. Um, so yep, yeah, that's done. And the other thing that I was working on was, stay, was this little blue thing. This is now finished. It just needs buttons. As I said in my last video, if you if you watched that, um, all my buttons are in the loft. So I thought I would make a few things, then get the buttons down. And if I haven't got them, I can always go and pick up a, a few. I think this takes five or four, four buttons. That takes three. So it's not gonna cost a huge amount. This was the yarn from Pound land, pound land, pound land, whatever. <laughs> um, I'm very Essex, so if I say pan land, then that's just me. But it's a lovely blue with a white in it. Um, the light is blowing it out, even though it's natural light. But this comes with a little collar, and then I thought it was really, really cute. Um, so yeah. Thought it was really nice and the light is just absolutely blowing it out but I've done that one so that's two that I've done so far then I had to buy the yarn for the chunky and I showed you the yarn that I bought last week and this is cardigan I finished um really really love this this needs buttons as well as I said um, I might have to pick up some grey buttons because there's a few things that I want to make in grey or even white because I know white will go with a lot of things. This is a six month, I think it's a six to nine month, it's 18 inch. Um, but I just found that it come up so big. Um, but better, bigger than too small. I have made things that are too small in the past. Um, I've made things, when I first started knitting I made things that were 14 inch, not realising that was pre premature size and yeah. So, really cute. Um, my sister actually opened her pram the other day and it's grey and the things that I've made her in the grey match really, really well. So I'm pleased with that. But this um, is quite big. So I think this will last until next winter. Baby's 
due, baby is due in February. Um, so I think it might fit the baby this time next year. Not a problem. Um, it's really hard to work out. Um, because the baby will be due in February, it's hard to work out whether to make 0 to 6 months or 6 to 12 months or like because in 6 months it's going to be summer and then it's like well what do I make, do I make things for when it's really really tiny or a little bit older um, I know loads of people will buy things that are tiny sizes so I'm trying to make a few things that I really really like um, and that she said that she's like she likes and then I might just wait until after a baby shower and things and see um, I'm gonna make a little basket up for her and just put everything that I've bought in the basket and everything that I've made I bought a few things as well but I don't want to show them on the channel because I know that she will probably watch it and I don't want to small uh, I'll show the bits that I've made but I don't want to show the bits that I've um, bought so then going on to um, Finished objects, still, I suppose, um, and something I've bought because it's inside it. <laughs> I bought some sock blockers and I finished a sock. Um, I just bought these sock blockers. As you can see, I've only got one sock at the minute. <laughs> um, these I got off of eBay and I think they were £2 something. I can't actually remember now. And they only came the other day. I can't remember um but yeah they're just wood really thin um I thought they would do for what I want at the moment because I'm not um an avid sock knitter at the moment I'm still finding my feet <laughs> um I'm still finding my way and uh, so anyway this is one second I need to bend down oh the light this is um drops Fable in Fable print it's called in the colour 159 and this is what it looks like the pattern I'm using is a simply crochet no a simply knitting pattern um, it was in a simply knitting magazine as you can see I've cut, cut it out um, because I've cut all my patterns and um, yeah anyway um, that is the only picture that you've got and then all the instructions on the back. Pretty simple. But I didn't find it too simple. <laughs> um, it was simple, yes. Um, it's all fine apart from these decreases here. <clears throat> because it tells you to do it every third row or something. But the way it tells you to do it is so confusing. For instance, it says... Knit until three stitches before the instep. Knit two together, knit one. Work across instep, knit one. Slip, slip, knit. Knit to end. Then the next two rows you knit. So do you knit two rows and then do the decrease row or do you do it like that? I'm really confused with it anyway the way I did it was I did the decrease row knit two rows did the decrease row knit two rows and it fits fine so that's the way I'm going to do this pattern um, what I'm going to do is until I find my perfect pattern is just try all different ones because I haven't got one that is like boom yes that is perfect um, so I'm just going to experiment and try different ones and I've had loads of people say, well try this, try that and and whatever, whatever. I will, I will try all these. Um, this is the second sock. Um, I'm still on the ribbon at the moment. I did actually take this to Bingo um, with me. Um, yes, I like Bingo. Um, I've been going Bingo since I was too young. Um... So yeah, I used to go with my nan, my granddad and my mum. And anyway, so I've um, used the long tail cast on. And I just, as I said in the last video, it was still a bit tight. And I did this one a little bit looser. I didn't do it as tight. Um, and it seems a little bit 
stretchier so we can only wait and see but yes that is my sock I'm just going to take it off the blocker so I can just zip this bag back up um, and I'll show you the blocker so that's that then so this this is just all the blockers are there oh I didn't put the pattern back in the bag um, what can I really say they are a medium but they are too small for what I need really they're that tiny little bit too small the socks are a little bit baggy but um, I've already said that I'm not going to be blocking my socks they're gonna go on my feet these are just for show so if I finish a pair I can show you um, that is all there for and that is why I didn't want to really buy the 20 pound pair uh, call me cheap but these do what I need them to do for now um, there may be a day where I'm knitting socks all the time or I'm whipping them out really quickly um, and I will start blocking them or anyway I just thought these would do for now just bear with me one second I keep saying that don't I um, oh that is really bright um, I left my coffee on the window ledge my cup says I'm usually gorgeous but it's my day off I've had this cup for years and years and years but the other project that I'm working on is this jumper and <clears throat> in my last video I don't think I even started it I was just telling you what yarn I was going to use I altered the pattern to make it bigger because uh, I had a funny feeling it wouldn't be big enough I'm using the So Crafty Aran from Lidl no from Aldi <laughs> Um, you can tell I haven't been well um, so I'm not going to show you that because for instance I pulled from the centre and I got a yarn baby but bearing in mind I've knit all of this blue from this ball that has just been hanging around so yes it was very very hard to pull from the middle and I was using all my strength to pull this out but I couldn't find the middle and I wanted to keep it in the bags that they come in so I didn't want to pull from the outside and so yeah I had a very large yarn baby um, anyway so this is what I've got so far I started with the grey the blue the grey blah 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 um, I'm halfway through this blue bit lovely colours it's coming out quite true to colour when I took a picture last night the blue came out really purpley but I did have lights on um, I was going to record yesterday sort of about half past two if you've not been on Facebook if you've not read the, or heard the news then you know it went pitch black literally the light was on and Ian was at home and I just went to him why has it got so dark and he said, oh, the, the sky is really yellow. Is it my eyes? And I went, no, it, it is yellow. Um, we was just sitting on the sofa. Um, I was doing a bit of this. And we weren't on Facebook or the internet or our phones or anything. And then I went online and there you go. Everyone. Um, oh, look at this, look at this and blah, blah, blah. So, yes, we all know why the sky went um, reddy, orangey, yellowy, whatever. So that's one reason why I didn't want to film yesterday. Um, I felt up to it, um, but we just did. I just didn't because Ian was home as well, so I would, I would have had to go in the other room, and it was dark. And but anyway, hey ho, there you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what I've got so far. This is the back. It does fit me quite well. It goes round me because I can sort of stretch this bottom bit out and and put it round me. Um, it's not quite long enough at the minute so I'm going to do finish this uh, blue bit then I'm going to do half of the grey bit and then start the shaping for the neck so but yes I'm hoping I'll have enough yarn um, if not it'll be a short sh 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 it'll be a short sleeved uh, jumper sweater whatever you want to call it um, what I'm wearing today is something that I have made and this was from the Simply Crochet magazine. Um, oh, I can't remember what issue it was. It's by, if you go on Ravelry, 
it's by something Morgan. Oh, it's by the same person that actu has actually designed this, which I was very surprised about. Um, Fran Morgan, F R A N, and then M O R G A N. Yes, Fran Morgan. Um, if you type her name in the patterns and see all the patterns that she's done, majority of them are in the, the magazines. Um, but this is actually a pattern from the Simply Crochet magazine. I love it. Um, I wish I'd made the sleeves a little bit longer, um, just so I could wear it in the winter. But they're quite baggy and big. But I quite like it. It's really comfy. Um, the only thing with crochet is I find it doesn't have much give, like... Like stretch um, I don't know whether it's the stitch I've used it's definitely not the yarn because it was a just a soft acrylic um, I think it was new fashion I've never had problem with their yarn before so and and this is quite stretchy so I think it's just because they were double crochets or half double crochets I think they're doubles could be halves anyway um, so that's that day <laughs> um, then the other thing is I told you in the last video that I had ordered a stamp I showed you my stamp didn't I and I told you that I ordered some Halloween stitch markers I'm just putting them on the back here so you can see them so there's a pumpkin um, I've got a few of these on my Etsy shop um, so go and check them out and I've also got a spider on a web. I don't know how well that's going to be showing. Um, but I've got a spider on a web. And that is on my Etsy shop too. So go check them out. There's a few on there. Um, there's other stitch marks, bleh, stitch markers on there as well. Um, and last... I keep going to say last week, but it was the week before. Really confusing. Um, but last video, I showed you my stamp. Very disappointed, I must say. Um, I have emailed the company, and they are um, looking at it. I have, I've, I have had to send it back because this is the the stamp, and as you can see, there is no H, and the lettering is awful. Um, so I have emailed them, I've sent them pictures, um, I've sent it back because obviously they want to rectify what has gone wrong um, and they're going to sort something out. I don't know what they're going to sort out but um, I don't think that is actually focusing. But um, So yeah, that is what my stamp should look like and what I was going to do is just put um, a couple of punch holes in there and attach the stitch markers for when I post them uh, so yeah a bit disappointed and on the back I was going to write my Etsy shop my Facebook and things um, but I have bought a new printer so um, and if you remember I showed you some card I'm sure I showed you the card um, and I said I had a guillotine and I've cut all the cards out so I just need to stamp them so I bought a new printer and it comes with um, instant ink um, and I know that Katrina from Katrina Creations um, bought a printer with instant ink and um, I was looking at it and I, and I was going to get one for my birthday and I was umming and ahhing about it thinking will I really print anything and this that and the other um, there is occasions where we need to print things and we haven't got a printer we have one in the loft but it has the ink has dried up and the ink for that printer is like £50 and I'm like I'm not paying that for ink no way it's ridiculous um, so we went to Curry's PC World they're the same shop now and we got a HP and it was £39 I think it was in the sale and it comes with four months free instant ink um, and I've signed up for the £199 subscription that will start in February I think that they've said it starts um, the beginning of February so 
yes so they send you ink when your printer is running low so you have to keep your printer connected to the internet and it does its thing um it sends i need ink and then it just gets sent out um you get to print 50 pages a month with that and you can have rollover pages so if you haven't used 50 pages in one month um say for for instance you've only used 40 pages 10 pages will get rolled over to the next month so you can print 60 pages the next month because you've got 10 from the month before um it sort of stays in a <clears throat> page bank um it's like a rollover thing uh, so yeah um there is no way we're going to be p printing 50 pages um a month but there might be a time where Ian might need something for work or I might need to print something. Um, so yeah, that is why we got it. Plus, um, I was I have got um, A4 pages and they are stickers. And I was going to print all my details and then stick that to the back. Um, I used to do it for when I used to work. I used to print hundreds of stickers um because they used to stick them on the items that we sold and i used to be the label printer <laughs> i knew how to set the um the spaces up for it and everything and to make sure that every sticker had writing on it and so on and so on so i know how to do that it's just a case of um getting it done now so but i want to make sure that i've got the um stamp so anyway i'm going to stop rambling then on the same day that i bought the printer you know why don't you test print something okay so i test printed a sock pattern <laughs> um yeah i showed him he just rolled his eyes it was so funny he, he, what it is you can actually print straight from your mobile phone so that's what i did um, I went on to Ravelry. I want to make these um, socks anyway because they're, they're shorty socks. Um, most of my socks probably will be shorty socks once I um, have tried all the different ones because I only really wear trainer socks. So, yeah, I printed that. <laughs> he wasn't too impressed. But, no, he was fine. He, he said, he said, why don't we get a printer for you to print your patterns and things? Because I'm always on the iPad. It's always going dead. And I'm always having to keep touching it because it goes blank. And um, so, yeah, he, he said about getting that. And it's always handy to have. And the thing I like about this printer is that you put the paper in the bottom and shut the drawer. Where my other printer used to have to put the paper in the top and leave it. Um... Or the flap used to come down and then the paper used to be curved and oh it used to drive me mad but this is all inside um, I've actually got stuff on top of it it's a scanner but I've got my um, modem on top of it because that's the corner it's gone in um, so it's all ready and you can actually email the printer if you are if you are not at home you can send an email to a specific um, email address that is for that printer and it will print it when you get home it's already printed I'm just amazed by this printer I'm just <laughs> I don't know call me crazy anyway let's carry on um, I have got the latest issue of Simply Crochet um, I can't remember if this came with anything that was free let me have a look. Oh. Um, I honestly can't remember. Uh, normally it comes with like a pattern in the front if it comes with anything or it show. I don't think it did. Um, oh, I can't remember. Um... I can't, I honestly can't remember, um, but this is the latest issue, I'm just going to, I'm not going to do my usual reviews, I haven't done them for quite a while, um, let me don't, let me know if you want me to do the reviews like I used to, um, like a separate video um, or anything, I do get the Simply Knitting magazine as well now, so let me know um, in the comments if you want me to carry on doing those, um, but I'm just going to quickly show you a few things that are in here just like the main patterns there's a little um alpaca pattern 
Also, there's that jumper. I really like that jumper, but I don't like the colours. Um, I really do like that, and I would just change all those colours to something that I would wear. Um, the only thing is it only goes to a 44 to 46. Um, my bust measurement is a 52. That is the largest bit, like, that is my actual boobs, if you know what I mean. Um, I only wear a 40 bra, but I find that if I make anything that is a 44 to 46, it only just about fits. I'm a bit confused on... I know you have to look at the actual measurement and sort of work that out because that will be how big the garment is and so on and so forth but mm, and this is made in Aaron as well but enough of my boobs <laughs> um a top with a ginger man on it I would make that top longer um also this was really cute and I really liked it and I might make one is a crochet advent calendar I might make one, get a bit of dowling, which is like the bit of wood, and um, just put a little treat in there for every day. Or just, I don't know, something. Um, garland stuff, all that glitters. Um, this is really, really nice. The cow and hat. The cow and hat. It's made with um, separate colours. It's not made with like a cake or anything. Oh, what's gone on oh, no. Um, It's made out of Debbie Bliss. Ballerina. Uh, blanket. Not for me. Um, that's the main patterns, really. And then in next month, it's showing you hat and a poncho type thing. Mm. I'm getting really disappointed with these magazines lately and I think that's why I'm not really showing them as much. Um, yeah, they're just not as good as... I don't I don't know. I don't know whether it's just me. I really don't know. Um, then I got the Simply Knitting magazine and this did come with a few free gifts. This came with a Poncietta brooch. Um, Poinsietta, however you want to say it. I might actually make that because I do like poinsiettas. Um, it came with a cosy home Christ Christmas. Um, quite a few nice things in here actually. Um, I really like that. Um, that is a pillow made with sugars and cream. Sugar and cream. And there is another thing in here that I liked. If I can find it. Probably not. Oh, that, yeah. I really like that. Um, sometimes I actually use the motifs, like or the chart. Like there's the chart. Sometimes I use the chart on other things. I've made a baby blanket, a baby jumper before with reindeers at the bottom, but the reindeers were actually a chart from an adult size jumper. Um, I just worked out the sizing, the stitch count, and everything. Um, and used that. Um, now tell me, I don't know, I really don't know. Um, very 80s. Um, I can imagine seeing pictures of my mum in this type of uh, jumper very, many, many years ago, like in the 80s, like when I was tiny. Um, yeah, I can just imagine, yeah, it's just very, I don't know. Mm. Let me know what you think. Then a jump up with a scarf. Um, there's not really... I do really like the stockings as well. They're cute. And like I say, the charts... I don't want to give too much away, but the charts are there. Um, and you could use them charts on anything. So that's one reason why I keep the books as well. Another jumper with snowmen on it. Um, and this has got charts. And you could easily adapt that for something else. Um, then tree ornaments and things. Um, and then in here there was... <coughs> 
excuse me then there in here there is another like bit what i'm doing that stri striker jumper but this is in fingering weight i believe lace weight this is fran morgan again lace lace weight um no thank you not in my size anyway um and then there's just a few other christmas bits in here but yeah so i just thought i'd quickly flick through that then i um was waiting for a birthday present still from my sister she bought me some she bought me the candy the candy swirl sorry about the rustling she bought me the candy swirl stylecraft and she said i'm gonna get you something else um but i'm waiting for it to be delivered so she got me more yarn and she got me the heart and soul yarn by Serdar. so this is all sock yarn um, let me just get it all out so I'm not rustling. Um, and a heads up, if you like sock yarn or if you like knitting socks and things like that, on Amazon they do four of these balls for £15. Yes, four of them. Um, I think it was 14 something 59 14 49 something like that anyway so i got this one which is shade 0160 there's not actually a color um no it just says a shade um that is purples pinks whites um a dark gray really really like that color and you can pick from different um color choices as well this one is shade 0165 this is blues and greens pinks white this one is shade 0164 and this is all blues light blue dark blue bit of charcoal gray in there white and this one is 0161 that's yellows pinks purples grays orange loads of different colors in that one um so yeah they're the four that i got i'm going to be knitting socks until they come out of my ear rolls i think <laughs> i have so much sock yarn now but um i'm really really pleased i have been looking at the hand dyed sock yarn but they want like 16 pound a skein and you know you think i can't warrant paying 16 pounds just to make one pair of socks um <clears throat> it all looks so lovely it all looks so soft i was thinking of buying uh, a couple to make a shawl out of and then i'm thinking i don't know i really don't know um but yeah so they look really nice like that don't they they, they are really 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 nice so there's four there if i do shorty socks i can get two pairs out of one ball um so that's eight pair of socks just from these um, or if I do long socks, I can get heels, toes and cuffs. Yeah, so, very, very pleased with those. Um, sorry for the rustling. Then I went to B&M, not this weekend, the weekend before. And I picked up another two of these lovely... Uh, balls of yarn it's home and co collection ombre luxury knitting yarn don't know whether you're going to be able to see that um and this is in shade d22 it is a different dye lot to what i have got already got but because it's like an ombre effect i could use one of these balls one of the balls that i had one of these balls so just to mix it up a little bit I love this yarn I absolutely love it and I want to get the pattern to make the right thing um I love gray and white or like it's like a dark gray and a light gray to be honest um and I just want the right pattern to make something that I know that I'm gonna wear um <clears throat> I was thinking maybe a shawl maybe a scarf um I don't know give me some suggestions because I just want the right pattern I don't want to make a top out of it it's not it's not scratchy it's so soft it's lovely it might look a little bit like mohairy and scratchy it's not at all it really really isn't um i think it's 100 percent. oh it's 72 percent acrylic 18 percent wool and 10 percent nylon so hand wash only which is fine if i make a shawl out of it i'm not going to really be putting it in the washing machine all the time am i so i can just rinse it through every now and again 
so yeah give me some suggestions because i absolutely love this wall and i just want to look at it because i don't want to make something that i'm gonna wear, not gonna wear so the light's gonna go mad again isn't it oh god um so yeah that's that um, 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 um i'm just looking around that's all i've made and that's all i've got to show um now what have i been up to well on Friday I had already made the two cardigans so they were already they were ready to be shown the sock was ready to be shown um, and I was about halfway three quarters of the way through what I've already showed you on the top that I've been doing um, on Friday so last week I can't even remember what happened last week did I have physio last week might have been the week before wow time just absolutely goes doesn't it i went for physio i don't think i told you what happened at physio um they pulled and prodded me so much that now every time i move my back creaks and cracks and um, they've given me exercises um which is literally sitting here sitting on a chair what it is they've said that i've got a flat back um so i've got to sort of sit up straight then slouch sit up straight and slouch that is all my exercises are at the moment but every time I sit down, it's like my back consultina's out and it all cracks and creaks and oh my God, it sounds absolutely awful. Um, so yeah, that's my exercise at the moment. I've got physio tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully I'm going to explain to them that it's creaking and cracking is that a good thing. Um, they said they were going to give me more exercises tomorrow to sort of strengthen me up and everything. So just have to wait and see um other than that on friday i was at work as i said then we went out for a meal it was my mother-in-law's birthday so we went out for a meal friday night so the whole friday i had no time at all to do any filming any knitting crochet whatever anything um the only thing that i'm crocheting at the moment is my temperature blanket i feel like i'm coming down with a cold i my nose feels really runny at the moment um anyway then on saturday um we was at ian's parents and on saturday evening we had a party to go to and it's called the waffle party um we are in a team which is called team waffle and it's a car audio team ian is into his cars um, I've, I'm sure I've said this before and we have music in our cars and bass um, so if you hear anyone going down the road with boom 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 that's what we like that's what we do <laughs> we did compete for quite a while um, because I've got a new car I haven't got anything in my car at the moment and my car is not going to be as loud as it used to because I want my boot back so <laughs> um, yeah anyway it was the team waffle party where all our birthdays are in September or October. There is about five or six of us. So, um, my friend does a house party and yeah, so that was on Saturday. It was a bit of a disappointment because not as many people turned up as that said they were. Um, but it was, it was still a laugh. Um, that was that Sunday morning I woke up, I didn't drink didn't have anything to drink other than coke um saturday morning no sunday morning woke up with a banging headache i was going to my mum's on sunday so i thought well i'll take some tablets and it should go went to my mum's um this headache turned into a migraine i had my dinner i had dessert um i said to my mum my head is banging um so my mum's got a living room and she's got like a back room and then a dining room and she's got a sofa in there and I said I'm gonna go and have a lay down had a lay down and my head was thumping so much it was just like boom 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 it was like my head was gonna explode I felt so ill it was unbelievable I could hardly talk I could hardly see um, it was it was awful so my mum said why don't you go home and I went to get up and she went just like have another half an hour laying down because I don't want you driving home not like that 
and to be honest I don't think I could have been I don't think I would have been able to drive home um Ian was here so he obviously I didn't have no one to drive me home um then I went to the to the toilet and I had to go to the toilet <laughs> um I had to go for a tinkle um and as I was upstairs I just thought I need to be sick because with a migraine if I get if I get a migraine I feel really sick once I've been sick the pressure it, like it's like pressure gets released and I'm fine anyway I was sick went downstairs another half hour my head started to ease so I knew that it was a migraine and that now hopefully it should be okay just drank loads of water and about an hour later I was near enough fine um people said to me oh you look so much better because my granddad was um around as well um, my dad said to me you look so much better um you, you just went as white as a ghost you, you looked really pale you, you didn't look well um so we was at my mum's and then um yesterday it was dark um i really didn't feel very well i was still a bit my head was i i tried to explain it after a migraine i don't know if any of you get a migraine after a migraine especially with me the day after i don't have a head i don't have a headache but my head hurts from where it was hurting the day before it's not a headache um it is like a a, a dull achy pain um it's not a headache, I know it isn't a headache, but yeah, that, that is how I was yesterday. Then yesterday, about 11 o'clock last night, I started to get this headache back, and I was like, no, please no, so I just went straight to bed, I was like, right, I'm coming to bed. Anyway, got into bed, 6 o'clock this morning, I woke up with migraine, again, um, I just couldn't believe it, I was like, oh my god. Anyway, I took some tablets at 6 o'clock this morning. Um, Ian was due to get up. He gets up between six and seven. He sets his alarm and just gets up when he feels like it. Um, so that was going off. Um, I was rubbing my temple because I'm, if I rub my temple, it does ease it a little bit. And I just thought, I hope I don't get this migraine again. So the last thing I want is a migraine again. Normally I get them once a year, twice a year max. Um, but anyway, so then went back to sleep. Woke up this morning, it's gone. You know, you think, oh! <gasps> <laughs> I just knocked this over I was like oh my god I can't believe it's gone like thank god for that um so what I will probably do is just see how I go as soon as I get an inkling that it's coming back I might take some tablets but I think that I've just been so busy and I just feel so run down um my nose is like really bunged up my throat was really really hurting me on Sunday um so I think I'm coming down with something that that is that is what I think so I'm a bit sniffly so we just have to wait and see what happens I might get really really ill who knows um I hope not but I haven't been I haven't had a cold this year so it might be my time and uh, uh to be honest, I'd rather get a cold now than in the winter because I just hate it in the winter and I hate having a cold in the summer. So this sort of temperature, it's just fine because it's not too hot and it's not too cold and yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling on. <laughs> um, so that's what, what I've been up to. Um, and other than that, not a lot. This weekend has just been full on, to be honest. Um, with Friday working, Saturday we was out and then the party, we didn't get home till half past two in the morning. Then on Sunday I was up at half nine, so maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Um, but I was, a, I was wide awake at half nine, so then I got the migraine. And then yesterday, I don't think the weather helped. I know that some people say that when it's thundery they get a heavy head and, and all that. So it might have been that as well. I just don't know. I really don't know. It was Ian's mum's birthday yesterday and we went round there and she had hundreds of flowers and the whole house smelt of roses and lilies and that was like bam in your face. Um, so maybe that didn't help either. Um, it was really strong and even she said it was really strong and that she might have to move the flowers just to the back of the living room. She's got quite a long living room. Um, it's like a living room diner. Anyway, um, so yeah, it, it was a bit 
full on we had dinner and then I just sat there and I was like my head I just I did a little bit of knitting and things but I don't know my my eyes started to go funny as well and I was just like no that's it I'm not having the same thing as yesterday um so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling and get on with a few bits um I did all my housework yesterday as well so because obviously at the weekend I was just busy doing everything else um so yeah I was quite busy yesterday but I'm gonna stop rambling um today what are we up to today nothing nothing at the moment nothing planned so yeah that, that's it <laughs> um thank you for watching um go check my etsy shop out for um new items that will be coming and yeah so that's about it really um i haven't made anything um halloweeny or anything we, i don't really celebrate halloween um Ian's sister normally has a party but it's just like a one night party and that's it it's not like something we actually celebrate um so yeah it's um i sometimes have a pumpkin um sometimes i don't it's not tradition for me to got to do this got to do that blah 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 blah, blah. it's um just if i fancy doing it really um so yeah i haven't made anything halloweeny um my nose is starting to go so i'm going to go um and not snot everywhere <laughs> too much information i know um so yeah i'm really sorry this video has been like 46 probably 47 minutes long i do apologize um but obviously because i didn't record last week um i just wanted to explain where i was what i've been up to and so on and so forth so i'm gonna go thank you for watching thank you to all my new subscribers thank you to all my existing subscribers um i will put a video up on friday probably won't be much to show but i will put a video up just to get back into the um routine so yes that's about it so far so <laughs> uh, i say that's about it it's been too long anyway i'm going to go and i shall see you at the end of the week Bye for now.